All right, so welcome back to Win On Your Wedding Day. It's Robert Burns here. Uh, Robert Burns, the second uh, Charlotte photographer, North Carolina photographer, destination wedding photographer, engagement weddings photographer. So wanted to put together a video for a lot of people who out there might have never done an engagement session. They're looking for some help. Um, you might have already booked me and you might have your upcoming engagement session and I might have shared this video with you in response to the question of like, where should we do this thing? You have any suggestions? Do you have a vision? Do you have any locations that you like to go to? Well, actually, I do. But before I give you those blanket suggestions, I would like to actually share with you some considerations, some things that you might want to just keep in mind. I actually made a short list. Um, if you don't know, I actually run a blog as well um, called Win On Your Wedding Day, where I outline you know, tips and tricks, suggestions and things that will help you to um, everything from planning your wedding to planning your engagement session. And so I actually, I'll share this link with you. Um, as well as um, as well as some considerations for your engagement session right so when you're thinking about like you know you know you want to do it maybe you know you want to do it with me you know you've got the outfits laid out you want to think about do your outfits go with this particular location and does the location fit the vibe you're going for right so if you've got to like really nice outfits you know closed toed shoes for him beautiful like cocktail dress for you and you know you're looking to do it indoors somewhere if i suggest to you a park that's not going to help you right so it's very important that the location fits your vibe um so i want to make sure that i cover my bases with a variety of suggestions for locations Usually when people are looking for locations, they're looking for outdoor locations. However, there are times when people are like, um, do you know any places that we can go indoors and do it? Of course I do. Those places are gonna have fees. You also have the option of doing your engagement session at a studio, um, like a photography studio. And I, I feel like that is getting lesser and lesser in popularity these days because I almost never get that request. But when I do, yes, I certainly have access to a studio. Uh, as far as the types of locations that are out there, we're looking at outdoor locations. Usually you're wanting for a place that has a lot of space or at least a good amount of space. Therefore, your photographer can move around, can work, can capture different angles, use different lenses. There's some variety in what the scenery looks like. Usually that's like a photographer's playground when you can go to like literally a park and like here you see a bunch of trees here you see some flowers here you see a little bit of water here you see maybe the buildings in the background you have a lot to play with but there are some locations that are very one note where it's just like it's grass and that's it and then your photographer can still work with that but then it comes down to more posing uh, more difference in expressions and maybe that's what we're going for is like something that's more intimate, something that's more focused on you too, and less so much on the location. So again, that question is like, what's your vibe? What's the vibe? What does your location, does it fit the vibe, you know? Another consideration, and we will get to this list of 15, don't worry about that. And if you just are like, I want the list, scroll on in the video, the list is there. So the next question is, does this location have any significance to you as a couple a lot of times i have people that's like hey we knew what we wanted to do we want to do this place um, because we had our first date there or we go there all the time we always have coffee at this place that would be a great candidate for an engagement suit, uh, shoot location i had a couple good friends of mine i've known them for a few years now and they got married, sorry, they got uh, engaged at this coffee shop that they always go to. So when they came to me, they told me this location and we made it work. We talked to the owners, they liked it, they liked the pictures and it was a good situation for all of us. It, it, was, a, it was not too high key, it, was, it fit them because they're very low key, lo laid back type of a couple. So it was a great situation for them. So another consideration you wanna make is 
Are, are, are either or both of you camera shy? And if so, will there be people around at this particular location? So you have some locations where it's, you know, very intimate. It's not a lot of people are going there. And then you've got some outdoor locations where they're highly trafficked. So here we are, we're in Charlotte, um, going uptown, there's always a lot of people there. Unless you're looking at like, you know, six in the morning or something like that, which most people are not doing engagement shoots then. So you really want to figure out like, if you're both camera shy or if one of you guys is, you know, a little um, uncomfortable with having a lot of people around while their picture's being taken, you may want to really consider, okay, is this the best location for me? Or you're going to want to work with a photographer who, in spite of the fact that I'm a little camera shy, will work with me and help me kind of, you know, lower my guard a little bit. All right, so that's another thing. More considerations. You want to decide if, um, you want to know if there's a place that's close by to change. Um, because, you know, if, if you do decide that you want to have more than one outfit. So typically with these engagement sessions, people will either do one outfit or they'll do two outfits. I have had on a request, uh, I have had on occasion requests to do three and four outfit changes, but that is really for somebody who's like used to doing photo shoots, loose, used to a little bit longer photo shoot, and pretty much knows it's gonna take a little bit of time because you wanna do a different location with each outfit so it looks a little different, um, generally speaking. When I say a different location, I don't mean you have to go across city, I just mean that we're going to have to photograph it slightly differently. Um, at least that's my preferred style. So a, a three outfit shoot is going to take probably two to three hours, whereas one or two outfits could take a little bit less time. Okay. So is there a place that's close by to change for your location? Um, if there isn't, then you may be relegated to changing in the car. And for a guy, that's okay. Sometimes ladies, especially with like the actual specifics of your outfit, it may be uncomfortable. It may not be possible to, to do it. So, you know, you're going to want to know if there's a place close by to change. And when I give these location suggestions, I'll do my best to kind of uh, say whether there is a convenient place to change. So these are some things to think in mind. Um, okay, another consideration is what if it rains? Is there going to be cover close by um, in that instance and if there is then that's a good thing uh, sometimes you know these these engagement sessions will get rained out um, <laughs> that has happened to me before when I went uh, to Romare Berrien Park um, I got rained out and there was cover but not enough cover to protect the cameras so I had made sure that I gave my um, my couples the um, the clear totes umbrellas and they were protected, but um, it just wasn't the most comfortable thing. Whereas there are other locations that are very well protected from the elements. So something to think about. Uh, I would still pick some of these locations because I have waterproof cameras, but just to say. Another thing is like, what kind of greenery or, um, you know, like what kind of, what does it look like around? What's the scenery really like? So some of these places are not gonna have a lot of greenery. And some of you guys will be like, yeah, I don't really want flowers and greenery and stuff like that. I'm like tired of that vibe. That's what some people say. And then some people are like, um, we really want that. We want like this botanical feel. We want these flowers. We want these trees. We want to see Japanese maples. We want to see the daffodils and the, you know what I'm saying? The hydrangeas and stuff like that. So it again goes back to your vibe. People always are like, well, like, where should we do this? You know? I'm, I'm just getting to know you like this engagement session is like my opportunity to get to know you for the first time But you know you and you know yourself. So like you know what you're really feeling. So the better question is like, okay This is what we're trying to achieve um, This is the this is our vibe at least even if you don't know what you're trying to achieve like this is our vibe This is like what, what gets us going. Do you have any locations like this? And I'll try to go through this list in just a little bit um, as far as like the suggestions. So next, um, is there a bathroom close by? For some people, they can hold it for three hours, four hours, six hours. They'll hold it as long as they need to. And some people like, we gotta go right now. So if you're one of those, we gotta go right now people, you definitely wanna consider 
where the bathrooms are and if they are close by, okay? Another thing is parking. So parking will be something that you'd wanna pay attention to because is this place kind of accessible? Luckily for all the top of these 15 locations, these places are all accessible, but just in case, like where is parking and how far would that walk be? So walking is another consideration, you know? And then I would say lastly is concrete and grass um, or just floor services. Like if you're wearing stilettos, you're wearing heels and stuff like that, you are going to want to generally have those on solid surfaces rather than grass um, that generally looks better for photos but it also is generally a little bit safer too so you want these on harder surfaces um, and then just you know you got to think like location fitting your vibe say your vibe is like sandals and shorts like that's okay i know there's a lot of people out there and blogs out there is like every engagement session must be dressed up i don't really ascribe to that i've done a lot of engagement sessions where people are like wearing shorts and they're wearing what's comfortable for them. So you want the location to fit what's comfortable for them to fit their vibe. So those are some of the considerations. Let's go through them again. Number one, does the location fit your vibe? Number two, does it have any significance to you two as a couple? Three, are either or both of you camera shy? And if so, will there be a lot of people around? Four, is there a place close by to change? And if not, are you okay with you know changing in the car or you know something like that? Five, cover. Is there cover in case it rains or you're subjected to the elements? Six, is there greenery around or what does the scenery really look like? And is the aesthetic pleasing to you? Seven, shading from the sun. I mean, sometimes out here it gets a little hot, so it's like, you know, is this place well shaded? Eight, the time of the day that you're doing this session, um, you wanna factor that in with some of these other considerations. So if you're gonna be walking, it's gonna be hot and it might rain. Not to say you're planning for a day that it might rain, but like just in case, like the time of day is something to consider. Nine, bathroom access. Uh, is there a restroom available to you? Um, also slash changing, but also just to relieve yourself. 10, parking. What is the parking situation really like? 11, how much will you be walking at this location in comparison to maybe some others? And then lastly, you know, the, the ground surfaces, concrete, grass, you know what I'm saying? What is the situation? And if you're gonna be wearing heels, stilettos, like you don't wanna really be in grass. It won't make sense. It won't really be appropriate for um, that surface. And also from a safety standpoint, it could cause your heel to break and it just, it's probably not the best look. So those are the main considerations. I would say those are 12 key considerations for choosing your engagement session location. Now, without further ado, we get into our top 15 location suggestions. So when you're looking for an engagement session, right, you wanna pick a meaningful location or rely on your photographer's expertise. If you got a special spot in mind, this might be a first date location, your favorite cafe or a local park on your to go go to walking route so you want to run it by your photographer first definitely share that suggestion with uh, with me here's what an engagement session could look like so here's one that I did uh, a while back back in last November and this one is a location that I've shot at it's actually on this list um, this is how a location could photograph this is Jetton Park and this is on the list. We'll get there in a little bit though. Just wanted to kind of share some pictures along the way. So next up, our first suggestion on the list is actually Romere Bearden Park. If you have never been here before, um, you're definitely missing out. Even if you don't do your engagement session here, you're gonna wanna check this city, this sorry, sorry, this part of the city out because, uh, and I'm basically for this, I'm just gonna do some Google images. Um, I've done this location, but this will be a little bit faster and you can kind of see how it looks on a macro scale, like how this location generally photographs, like big picture. Like this is what this will kind of look like. At nighttime, you're gonna get these colors in this, um, like this, this fountain look. You know, so there's actually, you, what you get here is 
these are this is a water fountain like a small little water fountain that like you can stand by you see this is like the size so it's like double the size of a person you know you also are gonna get the city in the background this is from Charlotte's got a lot like you get these these colors in these dogwood trees you know what I'm saying depending on the time of year that you do it um, you get the city in the background like I said at nighttime you get this people do engagement sessions there so this would be a great look you know for an engagement session and the, the issue though is Ramir Bearden is highly trafficked so you do get a lot of people no matter what time of day um, that will be walking and so you have to deal with that with the pictures but if you can deal with that and you have dealing with somebody who's pretty patient like me um, I'll just outweigh people who are walking and then we will get the shots that we're looking for so I would say Ramir Beard and Park would be high on the list of locations for an engagement session that's number one on my list now number two is actually here Jet and Park I did this location um, and as you can see look how beautifully it photographs as you see here on these Google images and then you see you know professional image right here like you got this building I think this is the waterfront um, plaza people actually do weddings in here I did a wedding in here like a year or two ago before COVID so this location definitely works and this is just one building that's there like when you look at how this session is you can have this blurry background you know for for the picture that's you know you don't have to have everything fully in focus but say you want more in focus you know you've got stuff to work with here you've got the water to work with here because Lake Jet uh, sorry uh, Jet and Lake what am I talking about Jet and Park is at Lake Cornelius uh, so is it um, yeah I think it's Lake Lake Cornelius it's in Cornelius um, and you know you've got you've got plenty to work with here like a lot to work with so you it, if you do it at sunset you get the, the Sun coming through the trees you know you can get that sun-kissed look there's so much that you can do you've got these with these I think you call them like gone I don't know um, these things <laughs> that you got those and you can shoot outside of them and see the whole thing or you can shoot inside so there's a lot you can do I'm a photographer I don't know all the words but <laughs> I'm telling you, you got a lot to work with here so Jetton Park is another amazing location that I would highly suggest that's number two on the list right next Freedom Park Freedom Park is definitely one of my favorite locations in like the South Charlotte area so where Charlotte is if you know we're like Queens University which didn't make the list but it is at the top it is one of my favorite locations to shoot at so uh, I, I might even slide that in there as a, as a bonus right but um Freedom Park is not that far from Queens University not far off of like Selwyn Avenue I believe it is and you've got a lot of stuff going on there again you've got water here you've got a lake this one is highly trafficked, extremely highly trafficked. You get a lot of people coming through here, but because it is so big, it's really not a problem. You've got like this structure that's there. You do have like a playground, so if you have kids and maybe you got like somebody who can come watch them while you two do your engagement shoot, I would bring like a friend that you trust to have like the kids and then, um, you two will go off to another complete part of the park with me and we do your engagement session and I, they do have uh, restrooms there too so this will be something to, to think about I know that Jetton Park does have restrooms uh, up until the evening time like I think like eight or nine o'clock they may be even longer but I know that in the evening um, like in the during the day they have restrooms there um, there's like a whole restroom and then um, Ramir Bearden Park which is my first suggestion they do not have restrooms you'd have to go to one of like the establishments close by and like ask if you could go but I mean there are restrooms like in those places so technically yeah there's restrooms um, so that's Freedom Park I, I think that's definitely an, a, a fantastic suggestion um, let's see what else we've got I'm just pulling up a couple um, other so this was Romare Bearden Park the first one the first suggestion 
And this is how that photograph, this is for Lillian Kevin's session that I did a while back. I've done this a few different times, but here it actually rained on their day. Remember when I was telling you about that? And like, this is the images that we got, even with it raining, like it photographed well. But I didn't focus so much on the location for a lot of these shots, like here I did. But here, you know, it's an engagement session. We, you know, it's about these two, right? So here we're drawing focus to the rain. So, you know, just because you pick a beautiful location doesn't mean every single shot is about to highlight the location. Like here, this one does because, you know, we're pulling out the, the dogwood trees. We've got slight focus with the building in the background, but, and, and so does this location as well, but not every single one does. So those are some things to, to think about is that, you know, some locations will pull out the location, sorry, some engagement session photos will pull out the location, but not every single one will. So moving onward, we've got, uh, so I've showed you a couple of different locations that, we, that you could do, um, but there's so many more, right? So those are the first three. Now we've got one that maybe sometimes doesn't come to mind for many people, but I've done an engagement session here and this worked. This is the one that I was telling you about a little bit earlier with the couple that was like, we did, um, this, this place means something to us. Like we've always wanted to go here and we haven't gone here yet, but we've been talking about this for months. So like, we really want to do this. Matter of fact, let's make it our engagement session location. It's Jenny's ice cream. Right? And if you haven't been there, they have fantastic ice cream. Their ice cream is incredible. It is really like gourmet, kind of hyper boutique style, funky flavors. Like they have a flavor called like brickleberry or something like that, which is like crazy, but it tastes really good. And it's really rich and sweet, um, but it's a great location. And like when I did their engagement photo, uh, sorry, engagement photo shoot, like this was their their key image. It was just like them two, you know, cheersing their ice creams and look at their smiles. Like they were just loving every minute of it. And like, so where Jenny's is, is located in South End, which is a neighborhood I used to live in. They've got like a nice little like kind of semi-industrial, kind of like post-industrial, kind of post-modern vibe. Um, you've got like the water tower here, which is kind of reminiscent of some other parts of the city that we'll talk about later. Um, you've got um, lots of local establishments close by. With these pictures, I just made sure to really put the focus onto Jenny's, although there are lots of other establishments close by. So you could really get uh, more of a, like the way that this is. If I was really going to try to focus the other buildings, um, I could. Um, you know, but Jenny's, Jenny's, lo Jenny's ice cream would be a fantastic location because it's sweet. Literally it's sweet. You can get the ice cream. You can be indoors with it. You know, like we photographed in here, you know, photograph them at the counter. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like these two enjoying their time, photograph them inside from outside. Uh, and then close by, you also have the Confetti Harp mural wall, which is literally not even two minutes walk from there. It's like not even, not even two minutes. And then you've got this, like I said, this industrial um, architecture close by as well. So Jenny's is a fantastic location in, in South End that photographs like really well. So I would say that would be a fourth suggestion. Next up would be Noda. Noda uh, is another little funky part of town. I used to, it's probably like another 15 minutes away from, um, from South End where we were. But Noda is known for, like I said, it's like a funky, eclectic, um, artsy kind of vibe. And they're known for like these amazing backdrops, um, these murals and stuff like this. Um, these murals make fantastic, like look at this girl in this picture. You could have this type of look with your, um, you know, with your engagement session. So if this is your aesthetic, if this is the vibe, this kind of speaks to you, and this is what you'd like to do, I, I think that Noda could be a really um, nice part of town. It's relatively accessible. 
Um, certain parts of the day I would probably try to photograph um, maybe in the, the afternoon, early afternoon would be a good time. Um, but it doesn't really matter too much. So you just want to get there, kind of walk around, and then if you need to use the restroom or change, you'd probably want to just ask some establishment close by. This is not like a, a specific location. This is more of a, you get to Nuda and you walk around. That's the vibe, you know? So that would be a great fifth suggestion. Next up would be Plaza Midwood. I actually live in Plaza Midwood right now, and it's a little like Noda. It's maybe a few less murals and a little bit more um, just like local establishments. You've got like Common Market, which might be a nice little backdrop. You've got a few um, breweries really close by. You know, Charlotte is known for, here, for its breweries here. Um, it's just a, a, a nice, urban feel here and it's relatively safe you know it's a it's a nice little place but if you're looking to like walk around and take pictures if you, you've already done Noda for some reason or you just want a different vibe um, Plaza Midwood is you know is a great alternative to Noda so I would say that would be a great sixth suggestion so hopefully you're finding this list um, helpful so far I wanted to rather just rather than just give you a blanket list, kind of give you some like some some guidance for like why these uh, locations have been selected, why so many couples choose these locations, you know, and how you can make them your own as well. So next up would be Midtown Park, which is very close to where I live in, in Midtown, sorry, in, uh, in Plaza Midwood, um, but it's it's it is a different location so with the midtown park it's not very far from like if you know where midtown is where the med um i think it's the metropolitan is what they call it um so the target that's at the the big target the big target at the metropolitan where the best buy is um where uh, i believe hickory tavern is still there so hickory tavern best buy the big target really really not that far from like um from commonwealth like that is midtown and there's a there's a park that's close by here and you see this big silver ball like that's what everybody kind of knows that when you pass by it that's how you know that you're at midtown park what's cool is you can actually like you have like little bridges here you guys can like walk under there just park benches you know what i'm saying um you've got this structure this is midtown park and where i was talking about like here that's where like the hickory tavern is the um to your right would be like where this best buy is and all the other stuff so that's kind of where we're talking about in um in the city but this is the view that you're going to have from midtown park so all of this back here that's a big expansive park that you know you'll have the city in the background and actually where this is, this would be one of the locations that I would highly suggest you actually use, um, you know, you allow your photographer to use a drone because I can get a little bit of elevation and get you and the city in the background. So although some of the other locations, either you wouldn't be allowed to use a drone or it wouldn't make as much sense to, this would be a prime location because there's enough space back here to be able to do that very comfortably and just to not really have any issues. So Midtown Park is a fantastic suggestion if you're looking for um, maybe a drone aerial or just to have that city, but also have the park feel with these flowers, you know? So that would be, just listen to this rain out there. It's going crazy today. Uh, Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. This location actually requires a fee. So with Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden, you get a couple things. Number one, you get a great outdoor location. Number two, you get a great indoor location. And number three, um, you have some exclusivity because not everybody is choosing a, a location that has um, like a private location that has a fee. So if you're looking to do something a little bit different that not everybody does, Everybody does Freedom Park. Everybody walks around Noda and gets engagement sessions, but not everybody does the Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden because this is like a nice, nice place. 
And so there is a fee, I believe the fee is like 15, maybe $20. It might be a little bit more if you're trying to do an engagement session. I don't really get involved with that. I just let you know, hey, this is a great location. You guys go ahead and reach out to them or you can have me reach out on your behalf and maybe I can get you a discount. I'm not certain about that. But this is a great location. Uh, they are a freaking botanical garden. They've been around for a long time. They have beautiful um, flowers of every sort there. I, I mean, they have like literally, the flowers have like the signs that are like name them, like what the scientific name is. So this is like a place where you'd go if you really want some diversity in flora and fauna. You'll have like birds like flying around, like exotic birds you hadn't really seen before. Um, you know, so it, it's a nice place. You have some cover here. So when you think about like the sun getting that shade coming through, um, number one, it will cool you, but number two, it'll look really nice in the pictures. Uh, and then you also have these structures here. This big, this is like the front entrance. So depending on the time of year, these will be potted. And then you guys could stand up here in the front. I would stand further back here and then I could get you two with having this building in the background and also really looking awesome. So this is a fantastic location. I would definitely say if you're willing to spend a couple dollars, um, you know, and keyword a couple, this would be a great place for you. So that's number eight is Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden. Next up, if you want to do Daniel Stowe Botanical Garden, but maybe you've already been there or you're looking for just an alternative to it, I would also say the UNC Botanical Gardens would be a great location. Here's the key, if you want to do that location, I would suggest it be midday on a weekday because um, this one closes at 4 p.m. I've checked um they may extend it a little bit but and also for the botanical gardens at um daniel stowe you're gonna want to do those um either before 4 p.m or you're going to want to get special permission to see if they will extend the hours back to like six or seven so you're going to want to ask in advance and a lot of people like wait they're like oh we want to do the engagement shoot tomorrow like where can we go I'm not I'm just the messenger it doesn't work like that you actually have to kind of get on these places radar these are like the nice places so if you want to get on their radar and let them know hey we want to do this in like three weeks this is the exact day we want to do and like this is the time frame we want to do um, and you know like that they'll be likely to give you permission but if you're like hey we do want to do this tomorrow like where can we go it's, it's, again I'm just the messenger I'm just telling you how it works I've been doing this for a long time okay so don't get mad at me so botanical gardens unc would be great you got like these lily pads here um like i photographed these before these look really good um you've got some structures you know you got all kind of like botanical gardens are great and then they even have like this asian style like gazebo thing which i forgot about but that's there so you got a lot of options at these unc botanical gardens i believe these are free um and they're located on the campus of uncc which is up in University City, so it's like the north part of the city. So that's something you want to think, think about is like, well, where are you located? If you guys are in Huntersville, maybe it makes more sense to go to the UNC Botanical Gardens than it does to go to um, the Daniel Stowe Botanical Gardens, which are in Belmont, which is like south uh, east of the city. Might be southwest. I think it's but it's south. You know. So that's something to think about next up and this is marshall park if you're interested in something that is a little metropolitan right you got a little of this a little of that it's in the city the city's in the background you know you got this reflection in the water you know over the lake you know it's like a small i guess it's not really a lake but like a little bit of a pond so to speak um you know you, you like this is how beautiful um the city can photograph so I'm telling you, Marshall Park is a, is a great location for an engagement session. And um, Charlotte's got a lot features it. So if you maybe want to do an engagement session here and then like send it to the city, maybe tag the city on Instagram, like that would be a, a great place to go. I've flown my drone here, so I know that we can do that. Um, Marshall Park is a great location and it's in the city. So it's like central to um, everything else. So next up, and this is just some of my uh, galleries. Um, next up would be the Duke Mansion. Um, 
If you are looking for something that's a different bit of a feel, something that's more stately, something that's more um, colonial looking, you might want to go to the Duke Mansion. I believe they're a historic home. They have a very stately feel. Um, this is how they represent themselves. This is will be a great place for your wedding too. So if you're looking for something that's just like maybe that next level, um, maybe next level in terms of like location fees and stuff like that, I believe the fee for an engagement session is somewhere between $200 to 250, maybe 300. So if you're willing to drop a little bit of coin to get like the perfect location for you, I would highly recommend the Duke Mansion. That would be the way to go. Um, and you will get something that's worth it. Like you get all of the grounds. You also get all of the interior. So when you're paying for this, like you're getting all of this. You get a photographer's playground. Now I believe you get something like an hour to two hours. So you don't get a whole lot of time. But if you're willing to move quickly and walk, um, I think if you get like the two hour package, um, you can have an amazing, um, an amazing engagement session that like very few of your friends will have, you know? Like this is how the engagement sessions, date sessions can, um, can photograph at the Duke Mansion. So just want to kind of highlight for you like this is the interior of the place. Like this is how it can photograph. Like imagine yourself being here. I, I highly recommend you get this place. You have the light pouring through the windows. You know what I'm saying? These huge bay windows. You won't have that like at other places. You know, you've got these stairs cases to photograph. Um, you know, this is a wide angle shot of what it could look like. Um, there is a lot going on at this Duke Mansion. And I highly, I cannot emphasize enough They've got this greenery here. If you want something different, I mean, I'm like going on and on about like, if you really want an amazing location, this is the place to spend some money. Keep in mind, you're not spending money with me, you're spending money with them. So, you know, it's not my fee, but anyway, Duke Mansion, fantastic, phenomenal place. Definitely top 15 for me. Uh, I would love to photograph here more often. Okay, so now we've got another suggestion and that would be Camp North End. Camp North End is like in like the mid part of the city. It's like a little bit north, east. It's not that far out. Um, it's, it's in the city. And this is one of the most industrial kind of like, like uh, feel. It's a, it's a growing like location here. You got these things. These things are so freaking cool. You have the water tower. It's a mixed use, um, you know, place. I would probably stick to doing stuff outside because uh, I just don't like the way the interiors look. But the exterior is like this is a great Camp North End shot. There's a lot of like food trucks that come out here at nighttime or like um, like dusk. This photographs incredibly beautifully. And if you're going for like just like a slightly more hip, more funky kind of a vibe, you know, you're really gonna want to to really consider Camp North End. I would love it if people pick this location a little bit more often because um, if you want something a little different and off the beat and path, like Camp North End would be the way to go. So I highly suggest that. Next, if you're looking for another like botanical kind of a feel, more of a garden type of a feel, Rock Hill, uh, based in York County, um, is uh, another place that you want to go. This is a Glen Cairn Garden. Like I said, there's the city of Rock Hill. They have some lo amazing um, locations as well. I would say especially like springtime, you want to book these early, um, especially because not only is um, not only is like the best way to put it is people wait till the last minute a lot of times, and that's tough because these are highly trafficked, and also because the bloom could be over. So here we are, it's June, and like. You want to do this in like June, second week of June, but the time to do this place will probably be like late March, early April. And like that's the best time because blooms don't last very long. So around this time of year, you might look at like a sunflower field, but 
remember Charlotte doesn't have sunflower fields so you're gonna have to go outside of the city so you just really want to think about like the time of year time of day all of those different things and of course your photographer can help you so you want to look at this place but this is a great place to go um, especially on a seasonal basis so fall and spring would be great times to pick Glencairn Garden in Rock Hill next up would be South End Charlotte. Now we've talked about South End with Jenny's ice cream, but like I said, there's so much more to do um, in South End. And like a, an image like this, this was taken in South End. This is just like literally off of one of the streets here. You got the city in the background. You've got this funky like mural looking thing on the ground. Um, and you got a lot of stuff like that around here. So you know south end is really cool you got the train like here so what we could do is it's actually illegal in case you didn't know to photograph on train tracks but nobody's ever said that you couldn't photograph with like you here like like 30 40 feet 50 feet away from the train tracks and like me being way further like well away from the train tracks and just having the train in the background like the far background as you're just standing still, that could make for an awesome shot. People could certainly try to do that. And you don't see many people do it. So this is stuff, if you want something off the beaten path, like this big South End sign, stuff like that in your pictures, again, a great location. So there's actually a few other locations that I wanted to mention that I didn't already have pulled up. This would be number 14 and Uptown. A lot of people don't shoot in Uptown, but like Uptown can look really nice, you know? Um, so let's say we were going to do Uptown engagement session. Keep in mind, it's gonna be highly trafficked. And there are some ways that you can get the Uptown look. Like you could go to, for example, you could go to um, CPCC, that uh, the um, CPCC campus, and there's like up, up, upstairs is like a, um, a parking deck. On top of the parking deck, you can actually shoot over that and see uptown in the background. But if you actually want to shoot uptown, like there are places that you can like walk on these um, on these stairs, you know. So there's all kind of things around uptown. Here you do like um, this was Marshall Park is where this was taken. So there's a lot of different places you could go. But if you literally want to shoot at like Trade and Tryon, right? That would be like the middle of downtown. That's certainly also something that you could do as well. So like right here, everybody knows this part of uptown. You got Trade and Tryon. You've got some of the other um, things. We can get you right here. Have that ultra wide angle shot, low to the ground, and like point it up towards the um, up towards the buildings. There's a million ways you can do it. So it just really depends on like what you're trying to do these sculptures here all great examples the thing is uptown is highly trafficked so you're going to have a lot of people so that will be the number one thing consideration for for me you're going to have a lot of people there walking around physically in the shots number two and and also to remove them that's going to cost a lot of money um whether it's me or somebody else doing it, it's going to cost a lot of money so the better plan of attack is we want to do this, we want to do it uptown, and we want the people there. We want that busy look to the background. If that's the case for you, bing, that's great. Uh, number two is, not only will people be in the backgrounds or in the shots, but you're going to get a lot of attention. So going back to some of my earlier points, if you are the type of person who is camera shy, doesn't want a lot of people around, you know, some of these botanical gardens, um, like the Glen Cairn Gardens or the Daniel Stowe, they might be better looks for you, rather than like Uptown or even South End, which are very, very highly trafficked. Uptown's not gonna have a lot of like restrooms like right there. You may have to go patronize a building, um, you know, a, a, a business um, just to use the restroom. And there won't be easily accessible changing stations Whereas, again, some of these other parks might have that. Um, or even like the Duke Mansion, which will. Now keep in mind, there's other um, private homes on this list as well. And I'll get into a few of them, like Ritchie Hill. 
would be a good suggestion. Um, there's a few other ones. Um, there's the, the White Home in Historic Rock Hill, which is still 25 minutes away from Charlotte. So it's close enough to where you could almost consider it Charlotte. And they're very, very cool there. That place is like one of the coolest and easiest to work with type of places. Um, some of the other ones maybe aren't, but those are great. Duke Mansion, Ritchie Hill, um, uh, the historic White Home, and there's a few others as well. Now there's more than one, and this is a bonus suggestion, the last one actually. Your home is also up for grabs for engagement sessions. If you want something that is like completely unique that nobody else has ever done, it'd probably be your home for your engagement session. Um, you would be surprised how well your home could actually clean up. And a lot of times people think because like they're so close to it, like they're attached to it, like my home is, is small. Like my home is dirty. Like you would, you would be surprised when you see like some of these official wedding locations when we go in there to photograph the guys and the girls like getting ready how dirty those rooms are and when you see those pictures you don't see them as dirty but there's a lot of little tricks that us professional photographers do we'll move this we'll move that we'll put everything on one side of the room we'll open up the windows we'll put you away from the wall we'll turn on one light we'll use flashes you know we'll do these tricks and then it looks fantastic so if you're looking for like a unique place that maybe is not like anything else on this list, then I would highly suggest, you know, you really consider, you know, your home. That might be a good look for you. So with that said, if you are still looking for more advice on like the engagement sessions and stuff like that, you can always go up to my blog and I have articles that would help you like what's a photo shoot like for your first timers or what should we wear to our engagement session here i'll give you all the tips i've got other ones as well behind the scenes like a video like what's it like and then more ways you can personalize your engagement shoot and i'm i'm consistently coming up with these these blog ideas so you can just go through and and look at them and if you are, are ready to uh to go ahead and, and and you know contact me you can just click the contact page here and let me know what you're looking to do and I'll be very happy to help you. But hopefully this video has assisted you in coming up with your top 15 ideas for locations for engagement shoots and I look forward to talking to you later, okay? Have a great day.